Hey guys, I'm Joseph from Play Tennis in Singapore. Today we're going to be learning about the drop shot. Okay. Firstly, what is a drop shot? It's when you catch your opponent by surprise. Okay. I'll give you an example. Opponent gives me a short ball here. I make him think I'm going to give them one of my massive forehands. Okay. But instead, I'm planning in my head as I take back. I'm just going to dink it over the net. Catch them by surprise. Bam. The ball drops short, they can't get to it, I win the point. One time that is good to do a drop shot is when your opponent is standing very far behind the baseline. Okay, They're one of those defensive counter punches, just chasing everything down, even though you're giving them all the heavy shots. Okay, They're camping at the back, make them pay for it. Take them by surprise, drop it short. Okay, Unlikely that they're going to get to the ball on time, or even better, you're going to draw them into the net, make them run, Make them make decisions that they don't want to make. When is a good time to use it? Is when there is fatigue. Whether your opponent is tired or if I'm feeling tired, okay? Drop shot is a great way to preserve my energy, okay? Because it uses less force when hitting the ball. Okay? Instead of swinging big topspin shots all the time, you can change it up. Nice, soft touch over the net. And now we're going to be covering two key points for executing the perfect drop shot. Key point number one is keeping a firm wrist. I see a lot of beginner players and even intermediate players that are flicking their wrist when they're trying to hit a drop shot. The problem with that is we're going to lose control if we flick our wrist too much. It's not a squash shot, guys. It's tennis. Okay. So when you're executing, imagine you're trying to palm the ball, Okay. meaning you're keeping your wrist back. So I'll give you two demonstrations. The first one, I'm going to be a bit wristy. Okay. And you're going to see I'm going to struggle to control the ball here. Okay? Imagine I'm trying to execute that as a drop shot. Opponent's going to laugh at me okay, and finish me off. So i got to keep the wrist back, keep it firm. At the same time, keeping my hands soft okay? because it's a touch shot. I don't need to be so stiff, right? If I'm stiff like a robot, it's going to be very hard for me to feel the ball. Okay? So i got to keep the hands soft, wrist firm and back. Okay? and just let the strings do the work. So, now we move on to the second point, which is adding underspin to the ball. Okay, so how do we do that? Key part of that is getting underneath the ball and having a slightly open racket face. That's how we get underspin or backspin okay, on the ball. What's so good about backspin on the ball when you're hitting a drop shot is it's gonna be challenging for your opponent. Imagine if the ball is spinning backwards towards me. When it lands on their side, the ball's gonna be bouncing away from the opponent as they chase it down. So that's like a double whammy for them, okay? So those are the two key points. Key point number one, firm wrist. Second key point, adding backspin to your drop shot. Okay guys, so now that we've covered how to hit the perfect drop shot, I want you guys to go out and try it out, okay? Have some fun with it, okay? But make sure you don't have too much fun with it, okay? Because Let's say you're rallying with your friends, and I've seen this a lot. Don't be one of those people that just keeps drop shotting during the rally. Then you make the other player run, and maybe they're not having so much fun. Okay, so it's good in a competitive setting. You want to win a point. Okay, but on top of that, you've got to use it at the right time. Don't just keep drop shotting every ball. Okay, make sure you're doing your other proper strokes and wait for the right time to do it. Okay, we already covered that at the start of the video. If your opponent's far behind the baseline, if they're fatigued, give the drop shot a go. Okay, and let me know how it goes, guys. Can't wait to hear your comments, okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends and family, okay? Free tennis lessons here, guys. I'm really trying my best for you. Okay, hope to see you in the next video.